Good morning everybody. Um, so today I have got my Acra Gel and pigments. So I was thinking about trying out using the pigment um, on a 3D reverse. So I've got my Acra Gel which is the Delicate Nude. Um, I've got my Prep here, your isopropylene alcohol, that's when you use. And I've got my different colour pigments. I've got my Gelica Oval Brush and one of my, a couple of my wipes. So I've also got my a cuticle pusher here that I'm going to use for taking off my acro gel out of the tub, out of the tube. So my tip's already been buffed and the shine removed and I'm just going to take out my acro gel that I need and place that on there. Just like that. Just scoop it on. Now, what I'm loving about the Acro Gel is it doesn't have a smell and it works kind of like an acrylic. And I'm an acrylic tech. Um, you just kind of push it into place like you would. It's, as you can see, it's just staying where I've put it. It's not, gonna, it's not moving. It's not running anywhere. Um, so I'm going to take my brush into my, my prep and just make sure that's nice and damp. And then I'm going to press my Acro Gel into place. So I'm just doing the cuticle area first, making sure that's nice and smoothed out there, not too bulky. And then just make sure my brush is nice and wet and bringing that up to its point, to its reverse. Cleaning up my side walls as I go. Keeping them as neat as you can. Now, I'm not really pressing too hard on the acro gel. You can see I've got wee bits of glitter in there from my brush, but I'll file them out. Don't worry too much about them. And I, so I'm not pressing too hard on it. And you don't want to kind of overplay it either. So you get it on there, same with anything else. Don't overplay with it. If it looks good, it's good to go get it in the lamp. Press it up to its smile line. Make sure the side lines are nice and even as much as you can and we're going to clean up the smell lines anyway I'm just going to pack this out so it's a wee bit more even don't worry too much about the glitters I'll get them that out in a wee minute after it's cured so once we've got that where we want it, as much as we can, we're going to get that into the lamp and get it cured. Okay guys, so that's just being cured. So I'm just going to take a wee bit of my prep and just give that a wee clean off. Take away the tackiness, tacky layer. Okay. And then I'm going to take my nail file. Put this out of the way now. And I'm going to clean up my smile lines. Just keeping my file straight up and down as you can see against there so we've got that nice kind of cliff edge for working with. Get right around this other side. I'm just going to press this one a wee bit more. Now the Acra Gel is really quite nice and soft to work with and file as well. I'll just get rid of these bits of glitter that were in there. Right, dust that down. Let me just check my side walls. So if I'm looking kind of down there, make sure they're nice and straight. I'm going to just clean up this tip bit area here. down there make sure we 
get all that dust off. I'm just going to tidy that on there a bit. Okay, so let's see, we've done a make sure our side walls are nice and straight. Make sure this is all nice and straight too. I'm just touching this area just to kind of get that on there. Get a wee wipe afterwards. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I've got my um, Jellica 12 Long Liner Art Brush. This is my favourite art brush to now. And I'm going to get some of my Puree. You can see this is my wee makeshift kind of palette that I use. And I'm just going to get some of that on there. This is uh, Puree is our white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow right around our kind of cliff area. Get rid of all that dust. I'm going to follow that cliff area right the way around. So get this nice and covered in that white. All the way around here. Like so. Right around our cliff side. Now don't worry too much about the top area if you've messed that up up here. Because we're going to give it a wee file. I don't want to stuck about it. Hey, we're going to file that all in anyway. We'll, just, we'll clean it all up later once we've done this bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I want to then paint on my smiling area where I want my my pigments to go on this one. Just as much as we can, make sure they're straight up both sides. I'm just going to bring this up a wee bit more. And it doesn't have to be perfectly, but just so it gives us a wee bit of an idea of where we want our pigments to go. I'm just going to make sure that this is still all up on my side walls, like so, just pressing it up. And I'm just going to follow that line round there, just to make sure that's a prominent line there. Okay, so we're going to get that into the lamp. Again, don't worry too much about that messy part because we're going to get that off. Into the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay guys, so that's been in for 60 seconds. That's nice and cured. So I'm going to open up my pigments. Get these all sorted. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've got my my wee makeup kind of eyeshadowy brush here, and I'm just gonna tap round 
the pigments that I want just so they're all blended in together. So I'm going to start off with some orange. I'm just going to use the lids to dap it off a little bit more so we don't have too much and just go around that edge in. And the tacky layer of the gel is what the pigments are sticking to. Okay, so we see it kind of sticking together now. And then blending in together. A wee bit of purple. Now again, remember, it doesn't matter that we're going over here because we're going to clean that up. We get a wee bit of blue and our purple. We're just slightly dab, dab, dabbing. A wee bit green. A bit of blue. And then a little bit of yellow. Just down at the end there. Okay, so we've got our nice neon effect everywhere. So just dust that all down. Okay, and now what I'm going to get, I'm just going to move these to the side, is I'm going to get my clear Acra Gel. Crystal clear it is. And get my cuticle pusher. Just give it a wee clean from before. Squeaky clean and scoop that off of there. Oh, we have a bubble on that. Brush bit off there. Go. Okay, so we've got that one, and I'm just going to scoop that right on there on the free edge area that we're working on. And exactly the same as before, we're using our prep and our brush. And we're going to just move that up into its smile line. But we're only doing the area that we've done. Press it right up in there. Hoping I'm staying in focus for you guys. Push it right up to the corners. Make sure that's right in there. Press that right up into the smile as much as you can. Checking down the look down the middle. Now I'm gonna need a little bit more down that side. Just getting a wee bit tacky there. Do you see that when it was? Okay, so just put that down there a second. Just get another little bit of macro gel. It's just not as big as the last time, and just press it on there. Get my brush wet. Just dampen it, and then just blend that in together. Right down to that side in that corner. And press that in together so the, there's no prominent line of where we've just joined them to. Now the thing we're doing this, it will look maybe a little bit more bulky than you would normally, but you're going to fill that down. And especially if you've not used it before then, it's a new thing. So you'll get used to it. So I'm just going to clean up that side wall. Press it all up. Make sure we've got that nice cliff side. Okay, so we're going to get that in the light and cure it. This one's really bulky on this side, but I'll file it all down. <laughs> Right, okay guys, as you can see what I've done, well, I paused just, I've just covered up my stuff because I'm going to file this. I'm going to clean it off. And I'm using, I'm looking at my e-file out, 
I really should get that out probably. I'm using a 100 grit file and I'm going to just get all this cleaned up. I'll make it halfway through this and think, oh no, I need my file. So I'm just filing over the top area here. I want to keep in my, my cliff side area. So this is a 100 grit file I'm using. and cleaned up this is down let's turn this round a wee bit to the side just go lightly round your corner area so you don't fire them away Get that nice and straight there do you see hope I'm in shot actually there we go Nice and straight there, yeah, right round. Jubbly jubbly. I'm going around this other side. I must want to bring this right on this side. in the middle as well just make sure that they're even sides bring this one in more I'm just going to go, you can see it's a lot softer and finer, the filing, than acrylic is. And then my 180 just to clean it all up a wee bit softer. there to get that wee clean up so I can check it all okay so oops the next step is I'm going to do exactly the same again I'll just take away this dust area there we go so get my white again and I'm going to follow that smile again right the way around where am I want to put it I'll start it there and work it down and down and round up my cliff side and again down the other side Make sure we're down right down to the corner. Bring this light over this side and make it a better for you to see what I'm doing. So just clean that right up around 
there and then I'm just going right down this side again all over the cliff side area that we've done before And then down this other side as well. Okay, so I want to get that in and cure it again for its 60 seconds. And then we'll do our next part. Okay guys, so that's me got that out. Now this time what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do it back to front. So, starting around here, I'm going to put the yellow. Into the green. Into the blue. Into purple, and our pink, and our orange and then down into yellow a wee bit more and a wee bit more orange in there So I'm just lightly dab, dab, dabbing. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get another wee brush. I've got another one just came about. But I just dust that off a wee bit more. So. Clean our brush. Okay, and then I'm going to get my, my clear acro gel again. And follow that one round. So, again, I'm just going to place it on at that pre edge area. Make sure it's not too sticky. And then we'll get our brush nice and wet and start pressing it up. Need that something in there, get that out. There we go. So there we go. Pressing it right up into that smile line. And this way too. And short, make sure I'm in short there. There we go. Clean that there. Now I'm just again, I'm gonna let me see. Actually, I'll push this one right down as much as I can. Back in short. Okay. 
Let's put that down a wee sec. I'm going to get a tiny wee bit more. Just one there. And then just press that up. I think it's so tricky when you've not got a client. Okay. Right. So we'll get that one in. Again for it 60 seconds. Okay guys, we've got that out now. I'm just going to again cover that all up, up so that it doesn't get covered in dust. Give this a wee wipe off. And then we're going to file this up. And get my 100 grit file again. You can see again, I'm just doing it straight over flat. You can see flat over the top there. That all the same, and then we get this side in, debulk, and just make sure we're just keeping this straight as well. We don't lose that. And then the other side. Dust us down. Cleaning it all up still. Just so that we can get a sorry for our last and final one. So, we we'll get that back on as we stand. Now, that's us done. Now remember, we've still got to refile all of that up. This is just us just cleaning up this area and then we're going to file it all completely. So make sure we've all got our dust all off. Okay, let me get my it's my number twelve art brush long liner. It's called. And again, just go around that free edge. So now we're at the tip area. We've done a reverse, this is our third time. Follow that line right round. And then down and round the other side.
There we go. Okay, so see again, we'll get that one in, we 60 seconds. Okay guys, so that's, we got that, so take this away. That's our white cured again, and I'll get my, my neat, my pigment brush again. So I'm just going to get my, so again we're going to start for the, the first one, so we'll do some orange around the side. Slightly dab and that goes into its pink then. And then we'll go into purple. Down into blue. green oh. okay give the dust brush a wee dust off And then our last and final one of getting our Acra Gel for the free edge. Skip it all. And on we go. And get our brush and just press that up. And down and air our smile. Okay. And this one. So we see it's a wee bit bulky at the free edge there, but we're going to file that all in and sort that all up. And make sure that's all tucked down. Okay. Right, tap my brush again. Right, we'll get that back in the lamp again, 60 seconds. While that's finishing curing, I'm just going to put my wee pots away. So these are just pigment powders from, I think they were just an eBay purchase. They're just pigment powders, nothing crazy. You can get them everywhere now, I think, pretty much. Um, and your Acra Gel is our Gelica Acra Gel. So we've got various different ones, cover pinks, um, crystal clear and our white. So that's that one all done. I'm gonna just oh, put my brushes away. So the, the gel brush I used was the oval gel, and my art brush that I'm loving the now is my number 12 long liner. Okay, so just get a wee bit of wipe. Get that wee wipe over, and then we're gonna file that all up. Get them 
do that one for the app. I'll just cover this area up for now. And now I'm just going to debulk all over and get it all cleaned up. So now I'm kind of curving right the way around. is obviously a lot easier when you're doing it on a client let's be fair <laughs> but then again maybe not because we can turn it all different ways <laughs> Remember I said to the Acra Gel is a lot softer to file, so I'm going to go back in with my 180 grit file there after I've just used the 100 grit because it is harsh. nails <laughs> I must do a full set of fancy nails I know we're doing spressos it's not the same not getting any chat not getting a blather that clean up my free edge make sure it's nice and straight and see your 3d stack there oh let's get it clean up this new side right here I think we're going to be ready for our top gel now. up there under there went out of uh, lens there let me press that back on okay so I put that back on to finish up my filing so my fingerprints are all over it for when I put my top coat on so I'm gonna buff it all up I've not actually done this before so I'm hoping it works out good and looks nice. Right, we'll get my buffer. Mm -hmm. 